Hello and welcome back to our channel. I'm Debbie. And I'm Darren. And Victor's in his strawberry. He is. <laughs> and welcome to vlog day 10. Woo! I can't believe it's 10, 10 days in a row. Although I did spend yesterday asleep. Yeah. Again. <laughs> I woke up to eat. I could feel stuck asleep. I mean, I was like a baby, literally. Apart from one that wakes up a lot. Yeah. Right. Apart from one that wakes up a lot, that's like a baby. Yeah. <laughs> no. People, people, people always say that. I slept like a baby. We wake up every, wake up every hour and piss yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Charming, isn't it? Really. I mean, you know. Oh, it's when you nanny in and you get projectile vomit. Luckily. Just what you want to hear this time in the morning. Yay. Right. Let's start with the goodies. Hey. Right. And Easter. Debbie made one because we we stopped the yes, we stopped the handsome one because it was all the same. Yes, they're still they're getting it, but they. <laughs> I tried victory with a small piece of um, cream cracker this morning. For the look he gave me, it was disgust. I tell you, <laughs> it's all right. Here, yeah, have some. I can oh, see it. I can't remember what day we're on. Day ten. Day 10. You did say it's written. You? It is good. Yeah. It's wording things and everything. <laughs> Dear gosh, you need a medal, really. Yeah. Right. Nice long box. Long. <laughs> it's a blue hamster. <laughs> Yeah, unfortunately, it's been in there a little while. He's dead. <laughs> no. Feels like more people. It's like giving birth to twins. Yeah. Right. And it's twins. It is. Honestly, I would say feel how lovely and soft and furry that is because they really are but nowhere near as soft and furry as um, Mishka Vic. and Victoria. <laughs> he, what can I say, he's got a soft bum. <laughs> I took him in the bedroom this morning to wake up his dad. Yeah. Yes. And he I paid forgot, him on pillow. I forgot why, <laughs> why I don't know. He nuzzled all against your fur. Yeah, yeah. 15 days to go, and there I've is. changed my icing. Yay. God, I wish it was icing. <laughs> right. Oh. Yeah, here we go again. Right. Here we go. <laughs> right. Harry Potter. Right, number 10. <laughs> Thing is, after he did it, Darren, you must admit he did. He did look extremely sorry. He kept putting his head down, looking up at him again. Yeah. Putting his head down, looking up at him again, until Daddy could no longer resist the smooching of the victor. Ooh. Oh. Oh, it's quite strongly scented. Yeah. It's a slithering bath bomb, what looks like. I'm not quite sure what the smells, what the nips are. It's really strong, actually. I've got to say, I'm not awfully keen on the scent of it, but that doesn't mean it'll be that concentrated once Ooh. it's dispersed. That's quite, that's quite nice, actually. A lot of these Ooh. Harry Potter bath products to be put, well... Yeah, so um, this, this is that's going to be strong because it's going to be diluted, isn't it? Yes, that's right. Yeah, <coughs> unlike the unlike the bath Sorry, one before, yeah, before we couldn't really smell it much, and you think, well, that's going to be diluted, so you could not going to smell it at all. But I'm, I'd say actually, most of the scents, as far as Harry Potter ones are concerned, are unisex. Hmm. Um, I would say that was more male that one, really. I'd say that was slightly more masculine. Hmm. It's more musky. Yeah. We know all about musky. <coughs> I say, do any of you have pets that smell of peculiar? <coughs> <things>? <coughs> Victoria, 
It just smells like cookies. He does, yes. Hairwick. He does. I snort him on a regular basis. Then we've got people in a group on, on a hamster Facebook group all smelling their hamsters. They say, look, my, they say, my hamster smells of cookies. Is that normal? And people are going, mine smells like pee. <laughs> so my, mine smells like this. Number 10. No, you see, because the thing is, Bonnie, she does get that horrible girly scent that's mm. not pleasant. Mm. But she also goes through a phase of smelling like Heinz chicken soup. <laughs> <laughs> Which is really absurd. Yeah. Oh, that's quite nice. We've had it before. It's mulled wine. Mm. Mm. So I won't I won't bother reading out the bits again because I start sounding like a advertisement really. Mm. But yeah, that that's that's nice nip. That mm. is lovely. Yep. And uh, on the tenth day of Christmas, Ooh. my true love gave to me. Look, Victor, it's the ones you like. A you box that is nearly empty. Oh, it is nearly empty. But day ten. Yep. Day 9 keeps wanting to open itself, so I've just popped that back in. Um, day 10's here. Uh, rabbit. Rabbit, 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 rabbit. Now, yep, yep, if you've yep, been yep, watching yep, us, yep. you know that Darren has a guess every day. Hmm. And, and the day he didn't pick Badger because he didn't think that we were actually going to be in there, it was one. Gosh, I could chew this off quicker, I'll tell you. It is... A rabbit! Ooh, two Yay. days in a row! Yay! Two days in a row, you've got it right. Yeah. I've got a clue where else I'm going to because I can't think of anything else they're going to have. But there you go. Right. Like this one, <coughs> isn't it? Yeah. One, two, three. He's got a nose on him and half, hasn't he? Oh, look at that. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, 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 oh,
in truth, you can mm. the the scent is that not strong that you sort of think to yourself, it smells like a tea light, an unscented one. Ooh, I don't even know what that smells is on the bottom. Wax. Yeah. It smells like wax. It's a candle. <laughs> but the thing is, it's supposed to be a scented candle. Hmm. All right. Puzzle me this, riddle me that. Hexmas! Riddle me this, riddle me that. Who's afraid of a big bag bat? <laughs> no, I've got no issue with <coughs> flying around me. Butterflies, on the other hand, freak me out. It was Batman Forever, darling. Oh, I know that, but no. <laughs> I'll go in bat enclosures. I'll go in butterfly enclosures, but I spend most of the time with yeah. my hands covering yeah. the head. I don't like yeah. it, I tell you. Bat, bat enclosures, the worst thing about bat enclosures is the smell. Because yeah, they tink. They do tink. All but days. Black Christmas. It smells like biscuits, but not his cookie. <coughs> Black Christmas, that is. That's nice, but it's it's quite a strong. Mm. Um, yeah, it does. Almost it's like got a bit of biscuits, doesn't it? Yeah. Biscuit. It's a bit like digestive, actually. Yeah. Whereas with something it's else underneath, like yeah. A nice sugar cookie. Mm. But yeah, it does smell like it does smell like digestive, actually. Honestly, mm. if we ever meet and if. If I ever get out, and if victory is with me, which isn't as strange as it sounds, um, I'll let you have a snort of him, because it's wonderful. <laughs> oh, he does smell good. He really does. Here we go. Day 10, and we have not got the hand to the dance. He may come out, I suppose. merrily on high. Hey. This is usually a nice one, actually. Yeah. I liked that. <laughs> he he wasn't really that bothered, I'll be honest. He was he was, he was eating or having a wash or something. Yeah, he's I think he was eating. eating or having yeah. a wash. It's mm. what he does. It's what he does. It's what he does. <laughs> <laughs> he is a cutie booty though. Mm. Honestly, I th I think this definitely out of all the calendars this year, this has been my favourite. And I don't say that lightly because I love my Harry Potter ones and the Sherlock one I'm very fond of as well and you know it's but there's just something about this that's really special the fact that I can usually get the top one is one of those things right yes. change of angle right. roast most ruins yep so I read through this after mm. the thing and Darren was in the kitchen doing some washing up Setting the scene for you here, people appreciate it. Yeah. Um, yeah, I didn't do, I didn't do a guess because I, 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 I Debbie's guess and was like, yeah, I'll go with that. <laughs> and I did ask him, mm. and he did want to know, so mm. I told him. Um, basically, my my reading of this, we've I had loads and loads of guesses on this. We've had loads of answers, and I'll get Darren to go through some of them with you if he can get his thing working. Oh, um. Well, basically, my process is <coughs> if they couldn't even leave to go for a wee without somebody being with them, <coughs> he's trying to get attention now. Yeah, I know. Um, and as the ingredients and everything were brought in for them, I came to the conclusion that there was only one conclusion from my point of view. Which is, as the the one that won it is the one that always wins it, I last believe, four years? for the last four oh, years, yeah. I believe that all the other contestants sabotage themselves, probably in some sort of, 
you know, I don't think that they each did it off of their own back. I think they, no, they each could, did it. They, they collaborated. Yeah. Together. And came to the conclusion that they were fed up with her always winning. And they get them kicked out. The next one. Yeah, kicked out, and then they could they could have a fighting chance. That's what I think. Um, I know Lolly Ween went through that theory as well. In one of them. Um, <laughs> but she she was the only one, actually, that matched my theory on that. Yeah. Um, a lot of people were saying, you know, it had to be uh, you, the bodyguard was in on it or... Yeah, security um, guards were in on it. Or they managed um... to sneak bits in and things like that. So, I mean, in fairness, guys, you're all having a go and... Yeah, we want loads of people had a go. Oh, loads! Today. Yeah, hey, once, uh, not necessarily this one, but uh, but with your Christmas question as well. Yeah, that's the right. Christmas question that that got a lot of people. That one did. So it's been lovely actually because we you you know what we tell you you know we we're pretty much we are as we are sort of thing. I can't be anything else really. Um, it's quite nice actually getting to know you guys a little bit better and yeah. you know I, i've loved her, hearing the different bits and bobs hey, we've got people talking together <laughs> yeah i know you guys have all started chatting with yeah. each other as well which i love yeah right what have we got on here? and yeah uh got mel may uh Sherlock Holmes, the amount of security present tampered with each station Sorry. Apart from the one who won, because she didn't leave her station for a toilet break. Mm. Uh, Angela Chambers. Yeah. We got one from here. Uh, I do Holmes, I would say, say the contest that one sabotaged the others, but not a clue how she did it, unless the ingredients and oven were changed and tampered with before the start of the competition. I do uh, apologise. The neighbour upstairs appears to be moving one of the dead bodies. Yeah. Um. But he's obviously kept in a barrel. He's yeah. really nice, actually, yeah. our neighbour upstairs, but he's noisy. Yeah. Not, you know. he's, he's getting ready to move as well, isn't he? So. Yeah, this is it. I didn't notice he had any barrels up further. No. Uh, what have we got? Uh, one of Lolly Wayne's one. Oh, that was security. Uh, we've got, uh, the winning contestant paid security to sabotage the others. When I went to the toilet, or the winner somehow managed to sneak in the other kitchens when the contestants were at the toilets. Although there was, there was security, we don't know how many or where they were at all times. Uh, the contestant could have sneaked in stones and sugar in their pockets and hidden in the toilets and so on. I think this through further. <laughs> that could have been hidden about their person, I suppose, as well. Uh, and that's why they disappeared off to the toilets, but that just uh, is not that. Uh, got Leanne. The right as the winner cheated. I think it would go. The gas on the oven was fitted with to burn the turkey, or it could be electric, so it's easier to mess with the dials that show a lower temperature, but it's actually higher. Mm. Uh, one with stones would have would have been noticed while mixing. So she, she followed to the toilet, follow shortly afterwards while walking past and stuck the stones in the turkey after it was stuffed. She could have had a partner put sugar in instead of salt. Now I'm thinking maybe she didn't cheat and the ju judges did the mistakes for the cooks to notice. But they all failed to notice them, apart from the one who won. A bit like Gordon Ramsay in Hell's Kitchen. Uh, there were loads of options on it. Uh, Lolly Ween then says about sabotage her own stuff because they hated the winner so much. Jealous, they want to get them disqualified. Stopping Banner from entering yeah, again, which is what you said. Which is what I said, yeah. Um, yeah. That one. Uh, and the other ones are both about but your Christmas question. So yes. Right, so without yeah. further ado, mm. we'll find out if any of you got it. Right, most roast most ruined solution. Mm. And you know what follows that? A slurp. A slurp. Right. You're right, Watson, said Holmes as he filled his pipe. It sounds very far fetched. Watson folded up the newspaper. The woman didn't need to do that, considering she had already won the competition four times in a row. Exactly, and I'm certain she did no wrong. But there is definitely a conspiracy going on. 
of course it's not entirely impossible that the oven for the roast number one might have turned up too high to start with with all the hectics going hectic going on but roasts remain in the oven for several hours and need to be basted regularly did that particular candidate not notice their roast was burning? That is a very fair point. Yes, form. yeah. Yes, you would, wouldn't um, you? Yeah. <laughs> roast number three was rubbed with sugar instead of salt. Perhaps the culprit swapped the ingredients. But where did the sugar come from? The can candidates had to hand in their ingredients list. I must admit that was one of the things that raised alarm bells with me. Mm. Um, all the items were purchased for them and they received the exact amounts they asked for. Anyone who ordered sugar would have found it in their cooking area, ready and waiting. Moreover, the stuffing was perfect, so the sugar and salt didn't get mixed up. It's no, yes, yeah. That's a fair point, yeah. yeah. It is especially odd that roast number two's stuffing was full of stones. None of the candidate, candidates could leave their workplaces without a supervisor. And yet, they were expected to believe the winner crept over to one of her rival's turkeys and added stones to the stuffing mixture without being seen. And how come no one noticed those stones while they were stuffing the bird? I am certain the three other candidates joined forces and set, and set the defending champion up. They deliberately ruined their own roast in order to discredit the, per discredit the person who won. Mm. Yeah, so well, we were right. Yeah. <coughs> mm. And I say, I'm quite chuffed by that. Mm. And I say, a couple I've got quite quickly now. Mm. But then again, there's also been a couple that have been real head scratchers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but no, right. So the next one Darren will be doing for us is Mad as a Hatter. Ooh. Do you know why it was done as mad as a hatter? It's something to do with the glue they used, isn't it? Like mercury in the hat. Oh, that's right. And it would leach yeah. into the body. <laughs> yeah, they ended up getting mercury poisoning. That's right. Mad as a hatter. Simpwick Hatters was printed in crooked letters on a workshop window through the glass. Watson and Holmes, who had chanced upon the place during their stroll, could see an elderly woman in a leather apron dashing this way and that. At her feet, a young woman, also clad in an apron, lay on the floor. When Holmes knocked, the woman opened the door. Mistress Slipwick and the milliner, what can I do for you? She asked gruffly. She was holding a roll of felt under her arm. The detective pointed to the woman on the ground. Is your assistant feeling all right? Unfortunately not. Have you called the doctor? No time. It was a lucky coincidence that I happened to have one with me then. They pushed their way past the old woman. The person lying on the floor was deathly pale and there was no sign of a pulse. She lay between the remnants of a broken bowl and white powder, and going by her temperature she'd been dead for several hours. Watson said we won't be able to say if she died of natural causes until after the autopsy. Maybe her heart. In a bizarre way, the hat maker explained that the girl had simply kneeled over and not got up again. Killed over. <laughs> Knock it up again. La lazy, lazy shing. After just 14 hours on a go, she certainly had not gone to a raid, the Hatter said. As far as she was concerned, the demise of the girl who had only started working for her in the run up to Christmas was a terrible inconvenience. No one goes home when they want, she told the two baffled men. Sipwick hat in such demand this time of year. She went on to say that every self respecting Father Christmas impersonation in London commissioned her pointed hats at her workshop where they were manufactured in a traditional way. We must inform the police and contact her relatives at once, Holmes said. What was the name of the deceased? Um the hat maker stared in the air bleakly. Watson noticed her hands were shaking. She's very agitated. Something's terribly wrong, he whispered to his friend. Do you think she poisoned her assistant? Poison is to blame, but it's not what you're thinking, Holmes replied. I think you might have given away the answer. 
wouldn't mercury poison and go slowly though. Mm. And mercury poison isn't a powder. Oh, right. Merc yeah. Mercury's uh, metal, isn't it? That's true. That is true. The broken bowl of white powder. Mm. I'll have a read through that later again. Mm. Um, because as I said before. Terrible. Somebody's reading to me. My attention drifts. Oh, the, the bits for the yeah, the bits wasn't wasn't actually me. That's actually actually spout the bits as well. <laughs> so that could have something to do with it. She she could be foreign, or she could be slurring of some sort of effect from the from the poison. That's true. That is true. Right. My question. Hmm? Debbie Kistion. Right. We this had, actually, as we said, we had loads, loads of replies. Uh, this one. Uh, so for, for, um, the first part the question of the question before. that I thought up um, was pretty basic. But me being me, I thought, oh, I, I can I can tease those head buds or whatever you call hmm. them. Right. So my question is. What and sorry, who is your favourite reindeer? Which is a bit of a enough question. I admit to it freely. Mm. And also, what name would you give a reindeer that's not been thought of already? So by thought of, I mean not Dasher Dancer and all that. Mm. Obviously, I want to know if Dasher or Dancer or Rudolph are your favourite. What's it? Mm. But I want you to come up with. A fantastic, unusual but Christmassy or pagany name for a reindeer. Hmm. So instead of being worth one point, you get two for answering yeah. the two separate oh. doodles. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we had all sorts of ones yesterday. The most popular one was the was the uh, the. Oh, he's, he's banging her head against the floor now. Yeah, yeah so she won't give up. <laughs> if you're going to kill someone, do it quietly. Mm -hmm. uh, the most, most popular one was, was the childhood childhood TV programmes. Mm. People love them. We had we had bits from like Chalton and the Wheelies, which I've got I've I've got some Chalton and the Wheelies over there. And I, I love We had um the... uh, Rod and Emu. Yeah, loved that. Um There's somebody at the door. Do you know? What else would he have? Um, Grot Bags, Adam's Family. Oh, yeah. Monsters. I love them. Rent a Ghost. Watch some of Rent a Ghost because that's on Britbox at the moment. Mm. <laughs> uh, Flumps, we've got them, the complete. I must okay. admit, with with most of your suggestion, Mr. Uh, Mr. Ben, I love him. I, does any of you remember Brick a Brack? I used to love that. I've always had a thing about wind up Brick -Brack. toys and things. And it used to be on after the King Rolo. Um, yeah, what I used to, what I used to do, remember when I was, when I, when I was off ill. You had um, words and pictures. Mm. You had words and pictures with Wordy, which was basically some sort of bloke in a puppet you thing. Saw, you saw but it, but you had but you had you had um, well. two different bits. Yeah. You had either Dark Towers, which was brilliant, and. The boy from the boy from space. And then you got you got small dungeon, little sections each dungeons time. Dungeons and Dragons was one of my favourites as well. Yes, um, we've got that over there as well. We, we haven't watched the end of it. Not all of it. Because we haven't seen all of uni. it. Uni. Who could love uni? I'm not uni. talking about the game. I'm talking about the uh, Come, 18 the cartoon. Uh, TV cartoon yeah. sort of jobby. Yeah, eighteen cartoon. The Viking and you know. Yeah. Oh, brilliant! But no, it's I barbarian I, actually. I have learned actually from. No, she was from a barbarian. Seeing all the answers, actually, she was a barbarian. That you know, I'm not the only one that really loved the TV when I was younger. Oh no, yeah, but you've also got to bear in mind because now. But you only had now. What, say, uh, say, three, four programs. There, was, there were three or four channels. Yeah, channels. Uh, so because yeah. it was about mid '80s, I think we got Channel Four. Yeah. So everyone used to watch it. I also got a trapdoor, Care Bears, Willow the Wisp. They're yeah, all Debbie's I ones. Loved as well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dog Tanning and the Musker Hounds. Yep. Danger Mouse, Care Bears. Yeah. 
Oh, no. Uh, Mr. Ben, Fraggle Rock, Hong Kong Fooey. Oh, all good ones. I mean, <laughs> seriously, people, uh, I I couldn't choose one out of a hat even no. now. No. Um, no. Let's say... We've got so many iconic, over there. Iconic we get. films when I was growing up. You have Willy Wonka, but Goonies. I would start watching Goonies. I'd mm. watch it all the way through. And then, because it was back then, it was VHS tape, I'd wind, wind it back to the start and start watching it again. I, Darren was like that I with used, Willy Wonka. I, used to, I had a double bit that I'd recorded. I used to start when I got home. And when my dad got back home from work, um, it was always on the same bit because I... I had the Bugs Bunny Roadrunner movie and uh, followed by uh, Willy Wonka in a Chocolate Factory. And when my dad came in, she, it was always when she was turning purple. <laughs> Violet was turning Violet, Violet. Violet. Turning Violet, Violet. <laughs> but yeah. no, I mean, let's say there's loads of different ones. Mm. I used to really like the old BBC films that they put on. Mm. And um, I just like the old ones I used to put time on. Time by time, I think the it ones, is. The ones, the old ones I used to put on uh, at six o'clock. Mm. Six o'clock on BBC Two. You, when you get like Rocket Man and Charlie Chan yeah. and bits like that. And I, I love Press Gang as well as I got older. Mm -hmm. I had a real crush on Spike. Mm. So, English guy with an American accent, or using an American accent. He has actually um, got an American he accent. He was the first. No way. Oh, so he he was the first one. Oh, he hasn't in uh, Hotel Babylon. No. Oh. Um, uh, was he was Brent, the first Brent, boy someone that I used to have a crush on. He's a uh, director, now, isn't he? Mm. But uh, Dexter Fletcher. Dexter Fletcher. Yeah. yeah. And then there was, ironically, in Buffy. Um, there was another spike, spike yeah. in that <laughs> James Masters, and. Because I was never really, um, I never really was one way or another with Angel. He seemed, you know, I preferred the, he was the, a bit wet. the vampire with the leather trousers and so on. I, admittedly, Angel had leather trousers as well at one point, but yeah. But no, um, but that Spike was an American with an English accent. Yeah. Well, no, yeah, he's so British, it's quite yeah. Weird. British, yeah. Although first no, crush but, was Michael Pride and Robin Hood. Yeah, but that one he used to I get. Love that. But um, James Masters said he got his accent from uh, Anthony Head. Yes. Yeah. But it is weird like when you sort of, you sort of look back on that and you sort of think to yourself, I was quite a lot younger than him, but because it's it's kept on. What? Video and that I'm quite a lot older than him now, unless I've watched something that's more updated, and then I'm still a lot younger than well, <laughs> still younger than him. So, you know, but yeah, mm. but no, but I did like I did like my TV. I really mm. did. I yeah, did. Still do. Still do. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but yeah. So, until next time, we see us again <laughs> tomorrow, today. Who knows what this wonderful world of time is on YouTube. <laughs> this is true. Have a good one. <laughs> Bye. Be different and be safe, peoples.